Woof. Okay, so this is the new dev blog that came out today on December 4th regarding changes to test ships in closed test 12.11 based on testing results. Uh, Wargaming says that they're applying changes to Independence, Yorktown, and Rhode Island. All right, I'm going to make predictions because I haven't read this. I just now literally knew it was there. Um, I'm going to make a prediction that there's going to be a, at least buffs to the carriers and a nerf to the Rhode Island. That's my prediction because surface ships are to be shat upon and the protected classes are to be buffed. So let's see how close I am to right. <clears throat> I'm hoping I'm wrong. American Aircraft Carrier Independence Tier 6. Stock aircraft carrier parameters were changed. Uh, aircraft prep time, 83 to 103 seconds. Really? Number of rockets in a payload reduced from 6 to 4. That's two nerfs, folks. Maybe this reverse psychology thing works. Um, researchable attack aircraft parameters. Aircraft prep time increased from 80 to 98 seconds. And number of rockets in payload reduced from six to four. Wow, okay. How about stock bomber, bomber parameters? Aircraft prep time increased 104 to 115 seconds, and researchable bomber parameters were changed to the prep time, uh, increasing it from 101 to 110. Folks, that is, we are witnessing an historic event. An historic event. This is an entire list of nerfs to a CV. And I ask you, when have you seen that? I'm just saying, just saying. All right, let's read the next one. Let's, let's see if this good news continues. American Aircraft Carrier Yorktown, Tier 8. Stock aircraft parameters were changed. Uh, aircraft prep time increased. From 115 to 125 researchable aircraft parameters uh, prep time increase from 105 to 115 stock bomber and researchable bomber uh, prep times increase the stock increased from 131 to 140 seconds and the aircraft prep time for the uh, researchable increased from 125 to 134 seconds that's at tier 8 now I noticed they haven't changed the number of rockets on this tier but something's missing where's the tier 10 what is the tier 10 is it essex is that right i can't remember for sure where's the tier 10 um i would ha <coughs> hazard <coughs> excuse me a guest a guess uh that cough did me in um yeah this is making the lower tiers worse so you want to hurry up and get to the higher tier that's part of that and that's probably the only reason that they would nerf carriers they do this with other ship types often you know make the lower tiers a little more painful to want you to hurry up and get to the tier 10 just just a guess just a thought don't know i could be wrong but <clears throat> just thought off the top of the head it's just interesting there's no changes to the tier 10 and let's go down to the bottom. Let's see if I'm wrong again on the American battleship Rhode Island at tier 10. Main battery reload time reduced from 25 to 24 seconds. Folks, that actually is a buff. It is a small one, but that is a buff. Uh, looks like it's about what? About a 3% buff, something like that maybe. I don't know. Just guessing. Uh, <clears throat> rudder shift time reduced from 16.5 to 12.1 seconds. Okay. The Tater was completely wrong in his predictions. I predicted the opposite. I predicted Rhode Island was getting nerfed and the uh, carriers were getting buffed. Well, boy, did that go in the opposite direction and that was unexpected. So Rhode Island um, is the tier 10 ship that has the, is it 12? Is it 12 guns or 15? I can't remember now. But there are only 356s, I believe, if I remember right. I think they're 356s. Um, 
and they may get improved pin angles to try and help them out and some improved fire chance. But yeah, so a buff to the maneuverability and to the uh, DPM. Uh, so yeah, that's interesting. So, I, you know, the recap for this one's simple. Slight buffs to the Tier 10 Rhode Island. Big nerfs mainly to the aircraft prep time on both of the American carriers, the Tier 6 and the Tier 8. However, they've left the Tier 10 untouched. There you go. And that's it. That is the uh, dev blog that came out today on December 4th regarding changes to test ships. So now it's time to get out there and play this crazy game that we love. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see notifications of future videos, just ring the bell. Until next time, Tater Dog says, woof.